I'm Kim Tracy with the Maxwell James Speaker Agency here with Bob Tipton in Denver, Colorado. Thanks so much for being with me here today. Hey, Ken, How are you doing? Very, very good. We're going to talk about, I guess, a, a very meaty topic is what I'm going to say. It's called Why Buy-In Sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if that doesn't get your attention, I don't know what else can. Um, well, if people get to know me, once they get to know me, they know I'm a bit of a science geek and I... Um, I look at the, the universe, I look at the world, I try to understand how things are connected. And, and uh, when we get down to the very, very smallest thing that we know about in the known universe, it's this tiny thing called a plank, which is just a small uh, unit of energy. And uh, as such, everything from that plank all the way up is made up of energy. So energy is all over the place. Some of it we can see, some of it we can feel. You know, the electromagnetic spectrum is what we can see, et cetera. So there's, there's all this energy. And why is like buy-in sucks? It's the wrong energy to seek. And let me, let me explain that a bit. So let's say you'd like to have uh, some level of organizational change. And by the way, there is no such thing as organizational change. Um, people change one at a time. And if you get the right number of people moving in the same direction at the same time, it just looks like organizational change. So what people try to do is to create buy-in to get that organizational log jam to start moving to get people uh, accepting and moving on with the change. Well, if we look at different energy frequencies, let's just say from zero to 100, you know, buy-in's at about 20. Mm. It's a very low level of energy, and the reason behind that is it implies some level of somebody else doing something and then bringing it to you for you to uh, maybe want, maybe not want. So think about like advertising. Uh, advertising is looking for buy-in as well. So they usually present a dilemma, and often it's a false dilemma. You know, I've got a fair amount of gray hair, and <laughs> there's nothing inherently wrong with gray hair. In fact, I've earned all of that. <laughs> um, I have a very strong perspective about that. I'll never put color into my hair because I've earned what I have. And society decided years ago that gray hair was wrong for some reason. I think because the advertisers that have products to sell about that decided that it was wrong. Mm. So we're trying to get us to buy in to make a change. Um, it takes forever. You have advertisement after advertisement after advertisement. They spend millions and millions mm -hmm. of dollars to influence our behavior to get us to buy in. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't work very well. Mm -hmm. So if we're at 20 with buy in, what's at 80 or, or 90 or maybe even 100 on the energetic spectrum? Well, that has to do with ownership. Mm -hmm. That has to do with investment. Mm -hmm. It's not buy-in. It's about being part of the process. Mm -hmm. So here's one thing that we've discovered in more than 30 years in working in transformational change. If you want some level of organizational change, it's better to get a higher level of energy to push the thing forward as opposed to this low level of energy that you're constantly trying to bring up. Mm -hmm. um, to get that to happen, it's about participation. Mm -hmm. uh, another one of our things that we say is uh, people don't resist change as much as they resist being changed without their participation, without right. their involvement. If you want to assure that change will fail at some level, mandate it, force mm -hmm. it down people's throats. So mm -hmm. anyway, here's a simple uh, path in order to get a higher level of investment. It's really not very complicated, but people don't have, to, they don't have the, the, the patience for it. Inve involve people. Get them in the midst of what's going on. Don't turn it into a democracy. <laughs> Don't ask everyone to have one vote. But instead of giving it to them in a completed form and say, here, this is what we're going to do. And by the way, we're going to put it into your performance management system mm -hmm. and make you do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that was a good idea. We're not going to do that. Instead, let's get it 75, 80% complete mm -hmm. in a big picture. And then we're going to bring it to you and say, what did we miss? Mm -hmm. How will this actually work in your area? Tell us more about your feelings about implementing this, not going back and, and revisiting the whole thing. And then we'll take that back and we'll look at it, we'll improve it, and then we'll give it to you again mm -hmm. in about a 90% complete form. Mm -hmm. What's next? How do you feel about this? And we like broad participation, everybody, if possible, to have a chance to weigh in. Well, what happens then is the people are part of the process as it's being built. So... Buy-in sucks. It's completely the wrong energy because it's too low. We want to move it up the scale, mm -hmm. and we want to get a much, much higher level of energy to pull the organization mm -hmm. through the change as mm -hmm. opposed to trying to push it from the bottom up. So that's where the title comes from.
That is fantastic. If you would like to bring Bob Tipton in for an amazing keynote workshop or seminar, please contact me, Kim Tracy, through maxwelljames.net. Thank you so much again. Oh, thank you, Kim. Mm -hmm.